All right. Well, um, everybody, I'm here just to state some of the facts. Uh, I've had a long career with the UFC, and as I've fought all these fights and uh, chased this dream of being a UFC champion, um, I just feel like here at the end of the road, I knew the end was coming, and I did everything in my power in this preparation for Donald Cowboy Cerrone. I put a lot of time and energy into even just getting the fight with Cowboy, getting a fight with another legend to, you know, end the legacy that is Diego Sanchez fighting in the UFC. And at the end of my camp, uh, when I was in top form, feeling my best, in best shape, down in American top team, competing with some of the best mixed martial artists all around the world, traveling and uh, putting in the work. And uh, I did it. I was ready to compete. I was ready to fight. I was 100% healthy. And wow. In the final, final, final 12 days leading to the fight, I got a text message from Sean Shelby, and it was a message saying, Diego, you need to check your email because Hunter sent you an email, and it's extremely important that you read this email and respond to this email by tomorrow or the fight is going to be canceled. And so right away I was like, oh shit, you know, the fight's going to get canceled. They're going to pull the fight. What do I do? Um, I talked to my people and um, I replied the best way I could reply to Hunter's email. And that's with um, my lawyer's advice. And with my lawyer's advice, um, you know, I advised, I, I replied the best I could. Uh, UFC wanted me to state that I am not experiencing any neurological issues and that I have no long term health side effects from fighting a career of 17 years in the UFC. And so um, basically my advisors told me like basically what they're trying to do is right before you finish your last fight, they're trying to just make sure they have documentation of you saying that you never sustained anything. So basically you're being forced, being bullied into waiving your medical rights, medical uh, possible liabilities. And so with that being said, um, the, e the email was sent to Hunter and uh, the response was very fast. And the response was from Hunter and Sean and Dana but only, only Hunter Campbell's signature was on the letter. Only his name was on the letter. And the letter said that they have chosen to pay me 100% for the fight, the show money, the win money, and the sponsorship money. And due to me traveling and completing the training camp that I um, I did for this camp and with that uh, the fight is to be cancelled and why the only thing that was on the email was due to your last loss at Abu Dhabi versus Jake Matthews 
no no you no 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 explanation other than that and so this seems like a lot of bullshit to me because if you ask me if the problem was my performance in my Jake Matthews fight why 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 entertain me with the cowboy fight why have a meeting with me Sean why why give me my fight papers why sign the fight why sign the bout why sell the fight to ESPN um, many questions that don't make sense to me um, another question that doesn't make sense to me is why send me a letter an email when I've already passed all my med medicals and I've had extra medicals done due to my age. I had the MRI, the MRA, the EKG, the physical, the x-rays. I had, I had all the imaging done. I, I had all the neurological that was demanded by the Nevada State Athletic Commission and the UFC for me to be cleared to compete. And so why, when this has already been done, do I get an email demanding that I have to state this, state that? Yeah, my manager did ask for my medical, my, my list of medicals from, from throughout my career. I've had a lot of injuries and in the sport, I wanna have, I wanna have my history. This is my medical history. I wanna have it on file. I want to have what the UFC has. It's it's my medical health, right? And and as far as I'm concerned, I don't feel like after I'm done, if Dana White won't answer my calls now, won't let me have a meeting now, once I'm done and I'm out of the UFC, do you think that I'm going to be able to get a hold of anybody? You think that the, anything's going to go through? No, nothing's going to go through. I'm never going to get shit from them. So yeah, before at the end of my career, me and my manager decided, yeah, now it's time to get what we can get because they're probably not going to give a shit after you are released. And so like the conversations I have with Sean Shelby and, and Joshua Fabia where Sean is saying how, you know, he, he wants to cut me and Dana White, you know, said I could fight another fight. And there's there's so much to the story, you know, that you, the people, my fans that love me, my fans that are um, sending me messages telling me how they pray for me, how they care for me, and how they they think that um, my manager is, is, is bamboozling me and, 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 and just using me. And so... If this was the case, I wouldn't be sticking by his side, having his back. And the truth of the whole matter is me and him having each other's back against a billion dollar monopoly worldwide organization. Yeah. When you bring awareness and you bring light to some of the issues within the organization of a billion dollar corporation, yes, red flags are going to are, are going to be are gonna rise and there's been a lot of red flags and there's a lot of things that that are, are not right about the industry and uh, why do I have the experience to and and the words to speak on this because I lived it my my entire adult life I've been with the UFC chasing this dream taking punches eating kicks and shit and elbows for lunch, breakfast, and dinner. And so, the way you look at it, I just, I, for the rest of my truth, please, real fans, my people, tune into my OnlyFans, a legitimate, verified network where I know the people that are watching aren't bought. I know they ain't the bullshit people out there on Instagram that are following the sheep narrative that has been pushed, that has been paid for, that has been, yeah, you know, the the UFC's 
got inside ties with Instagram and my Instagram's been eating shit for for years and if you're still believing that hype you know you're being fooled so you know continue to follow me as the legend continues follow my only fans subscribe say hello and uh, watch this story as it continues